Customs and Border Protection is expanding features of a phone app to help process asylum seekers, but some border experts fear the limited scope of the new features could cause a mass migration to the southern border. Chorus Nylander is live from Nogales with the details. Chorus. Hello, Sean. Just behind me here is the port of entry from downtown Nogales, uh, heading into Nogales, Mexico. This major border crossing remains relatively calm in terms of the flow of migrants compared to other areas, but that could soon change. Customs and Border Protection this month rolled out new features to its CBP-1 app, now allowing asylum seekers to schedule needed appointments with U.S. immigration officials through the app, but only eight ports of entry across the country are using that new feature. Nogales is one of them and the only one in Arizona, despite, say, the Yuma sector, which is seeing a much larger amount of numbers of asylum seekers. Former Tucson Border Patrol Chief Victor Manjares, who is now a professor at the Center for Law and Human Behavior at University of Texas El Paso, fears that will cause a large shift in migration patterns right here to the Nogales port of entry. You're going to see the redirect of uh, people that maybe uh, thought of going to, uh, to the Yuma area start looking at, at Nogales. And I think it will have an effect not only in Nogales, um, Arizona, but it will have an, an effect in Nogales, Sonora. And these new features are launching as the Biden administration works to uh, put more restrictions on asylum seekers with the anticipation of the end of Title 42. Uh, Maharis feels that this redirection could very well be an intentional tactic from CBP to try and, say, uh, divert uh, uh, the numbers they're seeing over in Yuma, but he questions if that's the right move to make. We have more on how locals here in Nogales feel about this coming up tonight at 5 o'clock. Live from Nogales, Cor Snylander, News 4 Tucson.